Welcome to another video, you've got Mr. Everything English and I know you guys are in full revision mode. You are learning your quotes, you are learning your techniques, you are learning your analysis and you're trying to predict what is going to come up in the exam. But guys, what if I told you that none of that matters anymore? Because you've got Mr. Everything English and I've got your back. Because I believe that I have created the ultimate essay plan that fits every possible question that they can throw your way. So in this video, guys, let's go over the entire essay plan. Everything education, tuition for maths, English and science. All right, guys, so we should be aware that when it comes to an inspector calls, we are aiming for four paragraphs in 45 minutes. You might spend five minutes planning and 40 minutes writing 10 minutes per paragraph. Now, what I'm going to go through next is what I believe is an essay plan that fits every single an inspector calls question. And you may use all the paragraphs. You may use two of the paragraphs. You may use three. You decide what works best for you. But why is this plan important? For Shakespeare, for 19th century, you guys were given an extract. However, for the inspector calls, there is no extract. So if you don't know any quotes and you're not given an extract, then you are in for a really, really tough time. So that is why I have created this plan. The four paragraph plan. And as you can see guys, for each paragraph, I've got one main quote. Then I zoom into the quote. I've got a technique. I've got context. I've got everything you need when it comes to English literature. Let's look at the first quote. The first quote, guys, is unsinkable, absolutely unsinkable. The technique here is symbolism. I've used Freud and the id as my context and my structural device is foreshadowing. Now, what are we saying about this quote? Unsinkable, absolutely unsinkable. Is this quote, guys, is a lovely quote to show the arrogance of a capitalist, Mr. Berling. Mr. Berling is saying that the Titanic is unsinkable, but you can argue that the Titanic could be a symbol of patriarchy and capitalism. And Mr. Berling shows his arrogance. He believes that both of those things can never, ever be defeated. Why is it a symbol of that? Because the people who were using this ship were rich, powerful men. Now, the Titanic hit an iceberg and sank. What hits an iceberg in our play? Capitalism hits the inspector and the inspector forces capitalism to drown. You can use this quote in that analogy. But how would you fit this quote to lots of different questions? If you've got any of the capitalist men, Mr. Berling, Gerald or Eric, you can use this quote to show how all three of them carry this belief. Because they believe they're undefeatable, because they believe they're untouchable. That is why Eric treats Eva Smith the way he does. That is why Gerald treats Sheila and Eva Smith the way he does. And that is why Mr. Burling treats Eva Smith the way he does. Because they are arrogant. They believe that their wealth makes them absolutely unsinkable. If you get a question about the inspector, you can, you can use this quote to show what the inspector came to change. He came to sink the unsinkable. He came to defeat the undefeatable. He came to destroy capitalism. Then guys, if you wanna apply this quote to the women, Mrs. Burling or Sheila, it shows you why they have that defeatist mentality where they have to simply accept their life. Mrs. Berling can't resist, Sheila can't resist because they are following a system and that system is unsinkable. That is why Mrs. Berling says to Sheila that you must understand that men with important work to do because they understand how they have roles that must be fulfilled. Or if you get a question about Sheila, you might say that this quote shows the power of Sheila, the change of Sheila, that she's able to break free from the shackles and also go and play a role in sinking the unsinkable. But do you see guys, one quote, lots of different questions. Now, how would you use it and link it to Freud and the id? 
for example guys it shows you how a lot of the characters were such slaves to their desire that they actually thought they were gods they thought they were undefeatable that is why mr burling believes that he can't be touched that is the first paragraph done second paragraph guys we are members of one body we've got the metaphor of comparing the society to a body and i want to talk about the adjective one now what are we doing with this quote if you get a question guys of about the inspector this quote could be used to represent what ideology the inspector believed the inspector didn't believe in division the inspector didn't believe in class divide gender divide he believed we were all one and this quote can be used for that then if you get a question guys for example when it comes to gerald or eric or mr burling or even mrs burling you can show how even even sheila even sheila guys you can show how there was a struggle all the characters struggled to be one body sheila and eric changed a little bit by the end but even that change is questionable but mr burling uh mrs burling and gerald were all resistant to being part of a body because this is a direct threat to their ideology this is a direct threat to their way of life you can link this quote to also the idea of responsibility because this quote implies that everyone <coughs> is responsible of everyone else forget your bank balance forget your gender everyone is responsible for everybody else on a human level now guys this quote again as i've shown you can be used for all those questions third one guys is a very famous quote a man has to make his own way look after himself and his family too of course now the technique here guys is rule of 3 we're going to here talk about the patriarchy it shows you how mr burling really badly believes that what makes a man a man is his ability to be a capitalist powerful man your 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 ability to be powerful for yourself and look after yourself is what determines how much of a strong patriarchal man you are and we're going to zoom into the imperative a man has to make his own way this is not up for debate it's a command by mr burley now this quote is a lovely quote i would use it to show how all of the characters other than mr burley sorry 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 other than the inspector how all of the characters are victims what are they victims of they are victims of the ideology they follow because they all believed in this even sheila and eric they believed in this to an extent eric arguably raped eva smith so when people say eric changes does he really or does he, or does he just get exposed for who he is yes he argues back with his parents for for how long sheila burley she goes from being daddy's girl to being gerald's girl to being the inspector's girl to then at the end almost giving us hints that she's going to go back to gerald but let's go back let's go back what's my point this quote can be used to show that just the way macbeth is a victim of patriarchy these characters are a victim of capitalism it is because of capitalism that they have no emotions that they don't care about other people they have no feelings they only give respect to people based upon how much money they have based upon how nice their clothes are because they've been bred to believe that you have to make your own way you have to look after yourself and after you've taken care of yourself then you help other people but if that jeopardizes you and your happiness then forget everyone else that's why sheila gets eva sacked that's why gerald has an affair with eva and then leaves her on the side that's why eric arguably rapes her that's why mr burling sacks her without a second thought because primarily they care about number 1 and you can use this quote guys for inspector gool because it shows you the juxtaposition it shows you the juxtaposition of what he was up against all right guys last quote we have the famous warning by the inspector before he leaves that if you don't fix up you will suffer in fire you will suffer in blood and you will suffer in anguish 
we have the semantic field of punishment here and our technique is foreshadowing it's foreshadowing the doom of these characters that they will need to change otherwise they are in trouble and that is how you're going to use this quote that one point this one quote for all the characters highlights the importance of change if you get a question on gender if you get a question about mr burling mrs burling eric whatever you can talk about how society has to change the way they view gender has to change the way mrs burling views herself has to change the way mr burling thinks has to change why because if there is no change punishment is on its way this quote can fit all those characters and it shows you the power of the inspector and the morality how this is a moral play the inspector didn't arrest any character nobody was taken to a prison cell but it's the point he highlights the idea of the moral crimes that these people have committed guys these four quotes if you actually sit and go through them i promise you they can pretty much fit any question now if they give us edna i i please forgive me because i can't help you with that one i'm joking guys they will not give you edna but what's my point guys these four quotes they do fit pretty much all of the questions so what i advise you to do is sit down and go through all the past paper questions think of all the possible variations that can come up in the future and try to apply these quotes these techniques these contexts these zooming ins to all of them just the way i have and you might realize that for you this one works really well this one works really well this one works really well but that one you struggle with that's fine use these three that one change it for something else but generally guys i truly believe this this essay plan behind me of these four paragraphs with the context with the techniques with the zooming in is perfect it's beautiful you can literally use it in your exam on monday and smash it so guys that was an inspector calls essay plan that fits every single gcse question as always it's been mr everything english peace everything education tuition for maths english and science